So you can see the IP check middleware is applied here. But what if I have a similar type of route or I have another route called contact and I'm going to have another page of contact. So quickly just create that. So copy paste and contact. So go here, make it contact. Yes. So yeah, here on the web.php, let's remove this route for now for just checking purpose. So I will say slash contact and yes, contact is here. And suppose I want to have middleware on this also, this IP check. So the point is, if two routes are there, that's good. But what if we have a lots of route and we want to apply same middleware to all of the routes? So here comes route group. So if I say route and I will simply say middleware of IP check and then I need to say group inside just giving a closure and one thing more this middleware has to be inside a square brackets that means it's an array and then inside this closure I need to move these two routes so as soon as I move these two routes now this middleware of IP check is applied to all the routes inside this group this means we need to we can simply remove these two routes middleware and now yes these two are protected with IP check middleware if I now go go to about yes you can see it is redirected back to Laravel that means the uh, base URL because on our IP check I have uh, incorrect uh, IP address now I changed the IP address to 127.0.01 which is local host now I can easily access my about page yes you can see and similarly contact page also and this is the one way of applying middleware yes we have seen that we can apply it directly we can apply in group of middleware but you can also have a middleware on the controller just like on this home controller you can see we just need to have a constructor inside the constructor we need to say dollar this arrow middleware and whatever the middleware name so if i want to have a middleware here also so i can simply say i want a middleware of ip check here also so yeah again that has to be inside an array so two uh, middlewares are applied to this home page this means if i now go here and i can simply say login okay try to log in here and give a secret one two three if i try to access home page yeah you can see i can easily access but now if i go to uh, ip check middleware and change the ip and check yeah you can see i cannot access the home page because ip doesn't match so this means yes this ip check middleware is also applied to this controller so whatever the function we create every function is having is has to deal with this middle middleware first then execute the function if you want to remove any function so like you don't you don't want the index function to be um, applied with the middleware so i need to say accept and inside that just give the name of the function so function index is returning the home view so i can say that okay all these middlewares are going to apply to everything except the index function so if i now go and try to access home page yes i can say but uh, yeah you can see the ip address doesn't match even though i can access this because that ip check and even auth is not applying on the index that means now i can access home page without authentication and yes you can see i'm not logged in it says you are logged in because this auth middleware is not applied to this index similarly we just have a new function of only just going to apply to this index function nowhere else so yes if i refresh it's redirected to login because now auth middleware comes into action and similarly ip check can also be worked these this is the third way but another way is 
like you know inside the kernel method you can apply middleware to your web middleware group because every route created inside this web file is has to deal with all these middlewares so if i remove these group of route where we have defined the middleware for these two now we are applying middleware for every route even for the base url so how can we apply just give your uh, middleware path or middleware class actually here so the class is this and similarly as soon as i save this file if i go if i refresh now it's having an infinite loop because even our uh, base url is uh, applied with this ip check and ip check is saying okay if it is not there redirect to base path base url and again on the base url it's saying okay i'll check ip ip doesn't match and go to base url base url check base url check so that's why it says too many redirects so this is the way you can apply but another way yes you don't want even you want to have on api everywhere else as you know you can apply the middleware here also so again an infinite loop will going to happen because this me this time this middleware is applied to all of your project but let's remove this we don't want to have that th that kind of things so i can easily access this removed middleware access it so this is the way this is the ways actually to uh, to apply middlewares in different places at different situations so wherever you want according to the situation you can apply middleware to your application if you want to learn more advanced stuffs and work on real projects head over to bitfilms.com slash courses section where all udemy courses are here and some of the premium courses just for this website so you can just subscribe to this website with a minimum amount on the plan section at the bottom and then you can have everything unlocked with no advertisement no hello hi just pure learning we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye